Welcome back to a new episode where we will be talking about colors in CSS. It is pretty important to talk about RGB values because almost every well-known application is compatible with RGB. RGB stands for red, green and blue. And let me add that as a comment. RGB is red, green and blue. You might probably remember the televisions from back in the days that had black and white dots. Well, these televisions were using RGB values. Because if you mix red, green and blue together with the highest intensity, you will get white. And if you mix them with their lowest intensity, you will get black. We will be using hexadecimals, which also can be referred to as hex codes. A hex code is used by humans to sort binary to a more easy, understandable form. So there are 16 hexadecimal digits. So let me add a new line of comment. So there are 16 hexadecimal digits. So let me add it as a comment. Oh, well, 16, of course. And they are the same as the decimal digits up to 9. So let's say 0 to 9. And instead of having 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we will be using letters. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. You also need to remember that, well, if you want the color black, you need to have six zeros. And if you want to have white, you need to have six Fs. As you probably have seen in the previous episode, we used a hashtag in front of a color code. And this basically means that the number is formatted in a hexadecimal format. In our index.html, well at least in mine, I have a h2 tag. And let's go back to our styling. Now let's style our h2 tag. So let's say color, colon, hashtag. And like I said, if we use six Fs, so let's write that down, save it go back to the browser, and if we refresh it, the header color is white. And if we change it to six zeros, save it, refresh it, the color is black. So you can see that I, I used six zeros. And in order to create an RGB value, we have two sets of three zeros. The first two zeros represent the amount of red in the color. The second two zeros represent the amount of green in the color, and the last two represent the amount of blue in the color. Therefore, the name RGB. So let me add a new comment, and let's say hashtag zero zero, two spaces, zero 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 zero, and the first one is red. Well, let me add more comments. The second one is green, and the last one is blue. Now, like I said that the first two numbers are red, let's replace them with F, which is the maximum. So save it, and you can see that the color just turned red. Let's refresh the browser, and the output is header in red. So let's say that we want to go, well, lower in intensity, and let's write down double A. Wait for a second, save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that the color is still red, but it's, well, a little bit more darker. Because like I said, zero, 0 is black, FF is bright. So let's remove the two A's, and let's change the middle two to FF as well. Save it, and the output is green, and it's, well, pretty clear. But if we change it to let's say 99, save it, refresh the browser, we have a dark green color. And we can change the last two as well. So let's change that to FF, save it, refresh the browser. And you can see that the color of the highest is the same as the keyword blue or green or red. The reason why I'm showing you how color codes work it's because when you use the name of the color, so red, green, and blue, you will be limited to 140 colors. And if you use hex color values, you will have a choice of, well, 
almost 17 million colors. And to show you how many colors there actually are, I have a website that I usually use. So let's go to the browser. Let's write down color-hex.com. And well, these are all the colors, but you can also search for colors. So let's write down blue. Let's scroll down a little bit and you can see and you can see all the different colors of blue that you can use. If you take a good look at all the colors, you can see that the last two letters are always equal to double F. And well, if we go up and search for red, you can see all the different colors of red. And the first two values always start with F, but they all look, well, slightly different. And what I usually do is, well, I use a website like Color Hex. I'll just click on it and I'll copy the hex color and I'll paste it inside my styling. So let's save it. Let's go back to our website and refresh it. And the color is more purple than red, actually. This was it for this episode. And in the next episode, I want to talk about classes and IDs. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.